Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. Those are words that the Fordham Rams have been saying after they've been losing seven in a row. I got some highlights, I got some videos, and I got some things to chat about here on the Sports Cycle. <laughs> Rams have played awful in the Atlantic 10 so far, and it hasn't been too pleasant to watch. Starting out 0-5 in A-10 play has put them in a hole. But when you watch the highlights of these games, you get a sense of feeling that they keep making the same mistakes. Well, here they are. They're having a hard time rebounding the basketball. In the non-conference, the team out-rebounded the lower teams, and that is what propelled them to victory. Now, they can't buy a rebound in Atlantic 10 play. They're playing soft, not at getting aggressive and letting their man take a hold of them. Remember when Dominique was dominating the force? He hasn't done anything so far in league play, and has hurt the team on the board significantly. Do you remember when Bristol used to get double-doubles? Well, that doesn't even happen because he's been in foul trouble. They have to use Jacob Green half the time, and that isn't even successful. The team is giving up way too many three-point shots, and been paying the price. They really don't look like the same team defensively from early on in the season. The communication is off, and when the team is only down by 5, it turns into 20 in 3 minutes because of their lack of stopping the perimeter shots. Where has Alberto Westwick and Brandon Frazier been in Atlantic 10 play? I hope they are like Bears and hibernating right now because they just look awful. They aren't playing good defense, and they're not shooting the ball well from the 3-point line, but that's also affecting their defensive play. They're giving up 3-point shots, and they're, they're, just, they're not stroking it the same like they were in the non-conference. And I hope this is just something that goes on in their head and that they can change coming soon because these shots that they're going to have to hit are going to be huge coming down the stretch. The positive side is when the Rams get turnovers and when they drive into the basket and get to the free throw line, the Rams get in a roll and that helps them on both sides of the ball offensively and defensively. So the turnovers lead to points and that helps them a lot gather their offense and play that fast pace that Pecora likes to mix in between the half court and fast paced. For example, when Gaston attacks other players and gets to the foul line, it opens up players like Butler and Samuel to hit their shots because of the double team. On the other side, when Brett and Butler or Samuel attacks the basket, it opens up the passing lane and really gets their offense in rhythm and tempo rather than sticking their heads down and getting upset about what's going on at hand and letting up three-point shots. Well, tonight is a huge game for Fordham Rams at home against Duquesne. If they really want to win this game, they're going to need to rebound and attack the basket and fight till the end. This team hasn't shown a lot of fight as they've lost games by 20, by 40, by 30. If the Rams really want to show they are relevant in the Atlantic 10, they need to really go out on this four-game home stretch and win. Everybody should wish the Rams luck tonight. And as always, wear maroon and white. For the SportsCycle.com, I'm Donnie Dwyer.